So this is the Tiny Concert Hall alternate plan. Uh, this plan is developed because there's a bit of a difficulty with the first plan. The bathroom being in the crook of the piano seemed to be a bit of a problem for some people. So this is a modified plan with a more traditional concert hall arrangement. Now, once again, we're starting with an eight foot by 20 foot trailer. And, and the scale is one inch equals two feet. This block is uh, approximately one inch and it represents two feet. So this trailer is 8 feet by 20 feet. So similar to the original plan, we begin by placing the door, except this door is moved over a bit to the front of the tiny concert hall. This is once again a double door and the part of the door closer to the stage will remain closed except in case of emergency. And directly across from the double door, there's a double door emergency exit. Now in this plan, the grand piano will be at the front of the tiny concert hall in a more traditional position with the opening on the grand piano facing the audience, which is down the length of the trailer. In this case, a shorter grand piano is required, probably five foot two inches, maybe five foot six inches, depending on the size of the pianist and the space required for the piano bench. The chairs are located down the length of the tiny concert hall in this plan, the folding chairs require approximately three feet for the space of the chair and the aisle, including leg room. So it's possible to place four rows of chairs in the remaining space. The first three rows are five chairs wide and the back row contains six chairs. Now an alternate arrangement for the stage includes chairs for musicians rather than a piano. These could be string instruments, brass, woodwind or percussion instruments. And the chairs could be arranged various ways. In this example, there are seven chairs with a bit of space between them in order to accommodate large instruments. We can also add a conductor's podium if necessary. Now, similar to the original plan, the outside contains the double doors with a half circle window above them and windows along the length of the trailer. Um, however, this is uh, not quite as high because there are no lofts in the tiny concert hall and the front and 
the back are very similar to the original plan. Now here is the side view of the tiny concert hall with the alternate arrangement. It shows the wood slats, the wood doors, the half crescent of windows above the doors, the windows along the length of the concert hall, and the red trailer roof. Once again, the front and back look very similar to the original. Now this tiny concert hall has a larger estimated capacity than the original. If there's a piano, it probably can only contain about 22 people, including the audience and pianist. Maybe 23 or 24 if there's some standing instrumentalists or vocalists. If there's no piano, you can probably fit up to 28 people in the tiny concert hall, including the performers. This broadcast is sponsored by Big Print Music and Big Print Conducting Method.